I am Tom Brandt and today I want to explain why it is important to stop being a windsurfer sometimes. It doesn't really matter if you're a very experienced windsurfer, wave sailor, going out on very small boats in very rough conditions, or if you're intermediate windsurfer, getting out on bigger boats, trying to improve your stance, your planing, working on your foot straps. Um, you might have experienced the same situation, and this is uh, when the wind really drops drastically while you're out, you have to enter or exit in very, let's say, turbulent conditions, so with very light wind areas and very strong gusts in between. So I want to show you how to always come back, how to enter and exit to get into the cleaner winds and start playing. The most difficult is actually when the wind becomes very gusty with big no wind or very light wind areas and very strong gusts in between as you're tempted to catch the wind, to lean out and back into a wind surface position or maybe even go into the harness. You would be too far back and out as soon as you get into the next wind hole. So now it is time to forget for a moment that you're actually windsurfing. What we actually need to get in and out safe, to make it back home when the wind just died on you, is a position that we actually do need a lot uh, when we come to transitions, to sail body maneuvers, um, sail body movements, uh, to freestyle maneuvers and freestyle basics. Instead of windsurfing your way through a turbulent area, you need to balance your sail, your board and your body into a neutral position. Whoever attended one of my windsurf clinics knows this position very well. So we start by placing the front foot next to the mast foot, not in front and not right behind the mast. Bring your body in an upright position, your body straight over the center of the board, over the mast foot and flex your knees as a little suspension, especially if you go through choppy waters, wavy areas, uh, but also in flat water just to balance your board easier and better. To keep your body in that upright position, Keep your head up, scan the area in front of you. When you're coming in, look at the beach. When you're going out, look at the horizon. Keep the sail upright. Your front arm straight, but a little flexible. Your front hand, your mast hand, as close to the mast as possible to bring and to keep your sail in the most neutral position. Do you remember your time as a windsurf beginner? You would only sheet in the sail that much that the board starts moving. And then you would open the sail right after and repeat that movement. So you would only need two fingers of your back hand to gently sheet in, stabilize, get moving and then open the sail again and then you repeat. That way you will also feel the wind much better and even in the strong gusts, don't cheat in harder as it is a gust, which means the wind hits the cell for a very short period of time and after it might be dropping to zero. So you will be oversheating the cell, the body will be leaning too far out and back and as a result, you will be falling in backwards. 
if you look into the wind, upwind, while you lean the clue backwards towards the board's tail and the water, and while you're sheeting in with two fingers, you can even make it upwind in very turbulent and light wind and gusty conditions. Whenever you feel that you're losing the balance completely, that happens especially when the wind drops to zero and the wind holds, then bend your knees as much as you can to lower your body weight and to bring your body weight more inboard, straighten your front arm and bring the chest over the center of the board, over the mast. Remember to always keep your head up, to scan the upwind area, keep your knees flexible, your body weight over the center of the board to, to balance your board and make it in and out safe. So next time you arrive at your spot and there's not enough wind to play but somehow you still want to get wet, get out, balance yourself, balance the board, the rig, get in neutral positions, um, which is really fun practicing and it helps you win surfing and it helps to get faster to your new maneuvers. It would be very nice seeing you one day at one of our windsurf clinics so we can train together, learn together and enjoy together. Feel free to like, share and comment our videos and of course to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.